Welcome to Radio Joe and Online TV News. First, the news headlines. Buhari presents National Development Plan 2021 to 2025. Pregnant women protest closure of attendant services in Edo State. News in details after the short break. Please stay tuned. My people, now market now they go. I want to go do environmental sanitation. And you know, quickly come back before I drop this story. Now I say, man, I quickly drop her before I go market, go do the environmental sanitation. Hey, my people. Now, what? Now, radio, join online television. Now, now they listen to. Now, me, now present her, Esther or Mobude. The one when I carry a con today, eh? hey, the story, not be smart, you know, waiting happen. Everywhere they burn it. Welcome back. President Muhammad Buhari has finally presented Nigeria's National Development Plan 2021 to 2025, which succeeds the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan. Radio Ojo correspondent reports that the president presents the document to the public shortly before the commencement of the virtual meeting of the Federal Executive Council (FEC) held at the Council Chamber of the presidential villa Abuja. While presenting the document, the president was assisted by the vice president, Yemi Osibaju, secretary to government of the federation, boss Mustafa, governor Atiku Banguda of Kebi State, as well as the minister of finance, budget and national planning, Zainab Ahmed. Speaking at the event, the minister of finance, budget and national planning, Mrs. Ahmed, revealed that the new document replaced the economic recovery and growth program. Speaking further, she noted that this was designed as a medium-term development plan to succeed the economic recovery and growth plan, which ended in December 2020. Aggrieved pregnant women yesterday protested the closure of antenatal care services at the Central Hospital Benin City, Edo State. The women who stormed the Edo State Council Secretariat of the Nigerian Union of Journalists NUJ claimed they were scheduled to attend at natal care, but on getting to the clinic, they were directed to go home and return January 11 next year. One of the protesters, Api Imafido, stated that they were told to go to any private hospital, saying it is an order from above. Reacting to this, the Commissioner for Health, Professor Obey Akoria, accompanied by the Managing Director of the Central Hospital, Dr. Duken Iyawe, attributed the incident to a communication gap between the health workers and the patients, explaining that the government had made proper arrangements to take care of the pregnant women. That ends the news update. I am Elizabeth Yusufu. Thanks for joining us. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell notification icon. Follow us on Facebook or on Instagram. And we promise to eat you with the latest of news, gist and entertainment. Remember, it's Radio Ojo and Online TV. Stay safe.